Stephanos at uh, Skathos Boat Hire at Stephanos Q School on Vasilias Beach below Cassandra Bay Hotel. This is a series of videos we do about explaining a few things uh, on your boat. So you come and you are well prepared. You have it in mind. You can build your questions and ask uh, more questions. We'll be so happy to answer. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you the propeller. The propeller is very, very uh, important not to break it. If you break the propeller, it's one of the most expensive parts that you're going to have to pay if you break it. And um, uh, the propeller costs over 200 euros. Uh, we check it in the morning, take a photo. So when you come back, if it's bent and broken, we replace it and uh, we need to replace it. When you're approaching the beach, you can lift easily here on the throttle. You have a, a button goes up and down. Okay, if you zoom a little bit more, down. okay, there's okay. On your throttle, you have this button up, the engine goes up, down, the engine goes down. So now the engine is all the way down. I'm going to lift it up by pressing the up button. This way, the engine comes out of the water and your propeller will be clear. All lift up really safe without worrying breaking anything. So this is our propeller. The lower part of the engine. This is the lower part of the engine that is in the water. And this is what you're risking of breaking most of the time. And when you're gonna break, you're gonna break the propeller if you drive all the way to the beach without thinking of turning off and lifting your engine up. If I drive with my propeller down, which is about 30, 40 centimeters below the boat, I will hit a rock or something and I will break it. So what we do, always we approach dead slow. We lift the engine out of the water and we use the paddles. We don't do any maneuvering when we come close to the beach with the engine running. You're gonna panic, you're gonna do a mistake, you're gonna break it. We never ever use the engine running and the propeller when we are that close to the beach. So, with the engine up, as I said, we're gonna use the oars to go closer. Your propeller is always in a perfect condition, but if sometimes it has a scratch or something, you can take a photo so we know exactly when you come back, if you damage it or not. It's not happening. It's happening very few times, only people when they don't think, when they don't look the map. On the map, we have some places, not many. It's a few places on the map that we have with red crosses and we say, be careful. Uh, we say, be careful, uh, don't go there, go really wide. was interrupted by my wife Stephanie, Stephanie, all the time. okay so back to the propeller when we have uh, the engine out of the water there's no problem there's no way you can harm the engine there's no way you can have any serious damage on the engine. Uh, with the engine up then we're using the paddle we can get the boat closer to the beach get your stuff out and then come into the boat and get the anchor. or we just drop the anchor that would be a different video dropping the anchor so we just drop the anchor and we stay in about 20-30 meters away from the beach and the boat is floating all the time. The boat must never be close to the beach, must never be left on the beach and must never be close to any rocks. Okay, um, when we're ready to go, we're just going to put the engine uh, down. Okay, we come here, we put the engine down. The engine has to be, uh, the, the, the leg of the engine has to be in the water. So this is good to start the engine. My engine is halfway up, but it's still operational. We can still start the engine and go. And this is the this is the shallow water mode. I mean, I lift my engine halfway. My propeller is, is lifted higher, and uh, so uh, there's less risks of um, hitting something. So I start my engine. I wait for the beep. I start my engine. My engine is running. Okay, water coming out, it means indicates that the, 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 
this is cooling the engine. Okay, the water cooling system inside is working nicely, and we're ready to go. Okay, the same thing. We're gonna reverse all the way out, as I explained in the other video, all the way out, reverse it all the way to the open sea, and then slowly, slowly, we come, uh, we put the engine down when we're in the open sea, and we just start going by putting the forward gear. Thank you.